Yo, 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 it's the Sigma Nation 21 back with another video once again. Uh, this time, uh, we're going to go in on uh, what kind of gifts that a female uh, could give a Sigma. Because I have a female friend that feels like she have ran into a Sigma. And she's really into this guy. And she was wondering what kind of gifts uh, that she could get him, you know. And so I had to kind of let her know that, for one, really, Sigmas don't really care for gifts, you know. He preferred to be on the, the giving end when it comes down to gifts, you know, because, see, uh, the Sigma analyzed everything, you know. So if you gave him a gift, and if he don't know you that well, you are just meeting, and he's really trying to figure you out. He really don't want to be accepting any gifts from you because he feels that you could be having some kind of uh, sinister intentions about these gifts, you know. And a lot of females plays uh, tricks with these gifts, you know, so the Sigma is definitely aware of it, you know, uh, because he... Uh, women that gives men gifts, it's because he wants uh, him to keep his thought on her, you know, uh, to keep her in the picture, uh, regardless if he's just going out and talking with other females, even though you don't have anything going on, but females kind of use giving gifts in that manner to so the man can keep... Uh, some kind of interest in her because of the gift. So the Sigmas is real uh, kind of leery about taking a gift from anyone that he don't know well. And even if he know you really good, he prefer not to get gifts. You know what I mean? Uh, because see, the Sigma, you know, he's a really picky type of person when it comes to things that he want and need. So he, he really wants to buy these things for himself, you know, uh, because he knows what he needs and why he needs it. And so he's real picky about things, especially if it's clothing, even cologne, anything. The Sigma is very picky, you know. So uh, you may buy some things for a Sigma, and he don't like it, you know. And he really don't want to hurt your feelings with it, you know. So that's why he preferred you not to buy him gifts. It's because he's a really picky guy. And two, he knows females plays uh, certain little games about when they buy uh, men gifts, you know. Uh, he don't want you to uh, create some kind of attachment to him by giving him a gift, you know what I mean? Uh, so he can just keep his mind on you, you know. That's not what the Sigmas is all about, you know, because, see, the Sigmas is not going to be under pressure by any female to get into some type of uh, relationship with, you know what I mean? And giving gifts is a tactic that the females uses. That's one of them that she uses on a man, you know, and is trying to get him in some kind of a relationship. And, yeah, the Sigmas is definitely keen on that, you know. But now, if you guys been talking for a while, you know what I mean, uh, you really been filling each other out, and maybe the Sigma uh, helped you with something, uh, maybe at your house, fix something for you, uh, you know, uh, just get, help you wash your car or something like that. And then he feels that maybe that's why you've given him uh, a small gift back uh, just to show your appreciation. That might be possible in that aspect of it, you know. But other than that, no, he really don't want uh, to be accepting gifts, you know, uh, because he, you know, he feels like uh, that's putting on some kind of pressure. You know, uh, to get in some kind of a, 
a relationship with you. And that's something he's not finna do. He's not finna be pressured by any female. You know what I mean? Uh, so, uh, but things that he likes, uh, he's always seeking knowledge. You know, uh, he reads a lot. You know, Sigmas reads a lot. They study. Uh, they always, like I said, seeking knowledge somewhere. So, uh, he also likes uh, fiction, non-fictional books, you know, uh, documentary stuff, you know, uh, history, things like that uh, the Sigma is interested in. Uh, also, he has uh, pretty good hobbies, you know, uh, he might be an artist, you know what I mean? Uh, so, if he's an artist, uh, maybe some uh, paint or something like that uh, to help him with the, his art, you know. Uh, if he's not an artist himself, uh, you know, Sigmas uh, enjoy going to the uh, museums and looking at art, you know, things like, you know, a sort, you know, uh, he's a camper. So, you know, things uh, that might come really handy uh, when he's out camping or on a hike, something like that, uh, you know, inexpensive. Don't spend a lot of money because if you spend something, a lot of money on something, uh, he really is going to feel uncomfortable with that. So you want to, you know, if you want to uh, give him a little something, uh, make sure it's inexpensive. Don't ever try to give a Sigma something that's really expensive. Uh, he's going to really take a hard look at you and he might just cut you out right away. You know, as as a friend or potential friend, because he gonna definitely feel that it's something sinister about that kind of gift. You know, when it comes to an expensive gift, so you don't wanna uh, really rattle a, a sigma in that way. You know what I mean? Uh, and you have to give it uh, definitely from the heart. You can't be having uh, a feel that. You want something in return for the gift that you give that Sigma either. You know what I mean? Because if, see, a Sigma can read a female well. They can read and just tell what your intentions are, you know, just by conversating with you and the way that you bring things to him. He can read all of that. So you cannot have some sinister intentions. Or, or some kind of intention as to trick him into some kind of relationship with you. Because he can pick it up real quick, immediately, you know what I mean? Uh, before you can uh, even blink your eyes, the Sigma done caught on to you. So you can't uh, be given a, a, a present uh, in that manner, you know, with some intentions behind it. And another thing. The Sigma don't like surprises. Don't surprise him with things. He don't like surprises, especially big surprises. You know what I mean? Uh, don't forget the Sigma uh, has a small circle of friends. He's not trying to be around a lot of people, especially people he don't know. So uh, if it's like you, if you found out if it was his birthday or something, don't be trying to have no surprise party for a Sigma. Oh, no. That's going to be a no-no. So don't do that. Okay? Uh, so by him not liking surprises, uh, you may have uh, uh, something for him and then give him a hint at what it is. Uh, and then that it will work better that way. But he's got to know, uh, really give him a really good hint. And he'll have a good idea what it is. Then he might accept it. You know what I mean? But if you don't do any of that and thinking you're just going to surprise a Sigma with something, he's not going to like that. He's not going to, you know, he's not going to feel good about it. You know what I mean? Now, like I said, he, he's real analytic. So he's going to analyze everything that you do for him. You know, because he, like I said, he won't. He don't want you to do anything for him. You know, the Sigmas, uh, like I said, prefer to do the giving. You know, and the Sigmas is not going to 
uh, be bringing you presents and stuff like that. That's not the way he does things. He's not going to, uh, uh, you know, rattle his brains on what he thinks that you may like. That's not the way of the Sigma. The Sigma shows his uh, appreciation by helping you with a task. Uh, if you got a business, uh, he would give you some business advice. You know what I mean? Or he'll help you with your business or something and uh, get you set up and organized a little better than what you have it. That's the way the Sigma does, you know, to show that he's a friend of yours, you know what I mean? And he respects you as a friend, you know, or something broke, or something uh, breaks on your car, uh, you know, your car is acting up, or, you know, things like that around the house, you know, things like that, that the Sigma come over and help you out with, you know, uh, you know, something like that. But as far as giving you gifts and things, that's not the way that the Sigma works. Sigma don't operate in that way, you know. And he's a really good, once he accepts you as a friend, he's a loyal friend, you know. Anything uh, goes down uh, with you, he's going to be right there. You can expect the Sigma to be right there. If you can count on anyone, you can make the Sigma your first call. Sigma's coming, you know what I mean? He protects his friends, so you can count on him to be right there, you know, in a hurry, especially when you're saying it's something that might be wrong, you know what I mean? Something is going wrong, or somebody is uh, uh, in your face about something, or, you know, want to cause you some kind of, uh, un uh, you know, uncomfort, you know what I mean? Uh, want to do some bodily harm to you, or something like that. The Sigma going to be right there. You know what I mean? So he's a really good friend, and but he does things uh, without anything. He don't, he don't expect anything out of you. You know, the things that the Sigma does for you, he don't expect anything back. You know what I mean? Uh, if there's anything, uh, he may need some help with something that he's doing, a project that he's working on. You could make offer it some help to get get this project going. That's good. That's beautiful. You know, that's 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 what he would look for. I mean, if you want to uh, do something for a Sigma, you know, you can help him with a project. You know, uh, give him some information that you feel that he may need. You know, things like that. Uh, that would be something uh, that that can you know the Sigma would uh, accept. You know, but as far as gifts and stuff, he don't like to get into these gifts. You know, because he don't care to be given gifts like that. You know, uh, even, uh, I mean, I can see around the holidays or something, or he knows that it's your birthday. Uh, he may do something, give you a little small gift or something like that. But, yeah, he'd rather be on that giving end, you know, than to receive it. So, yeah, he would do a little something for you. Uh, on your birthday, if he knows it's your birthday, or, you know, some kind of special day, you know, uh, if he's, uh, like, you know, these little uh, Valentine's Day or something like that, you know, if he's talking with you, you and him got some kind of little, good little friendship going, you know, he'll do a little something like that and give you a little something, but, yeah, he don't want uh, much back from you. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much in the line of it. You know, uh, the Sigma's is real cool people. Like I said, you know, uh, if you can get to know one of them, if you got one of them in your life, like, uh, you know, you say you got one of them, you think you got a Sigma, you know what I mean? Uh, if you got a Sigma, then you got a genuine uh, jewel. You know, he's he's one to hold on to. If you can get him into this uh, relationship, if, you know, y'all keep talking and, you know, uh, get together. You got someone, you know, you definitely got a true king if you got a Sigma. That's for sure. You know, uh, you got the best of the best if you got a Sigma. So hopefully, you know, it works out. But, yeah, but when it comes to the, uh, you know, giving gifts and stuff like that, uh, yeah, you, it's got to be something uh, inexpensive, something that he can use. Like I says, you know, a book. Uh, utility knife or something that he can use when he's on a hike or 
you know, hunting or whatever, you know, something small, you know, that he can use, and uh, he would definitely appreciate that, you know what I mean? Uh, but first, make sure that you guys know each other and you're really feeling feeling each other, you know, you're getting some kind of really good bond, uh, just don't do it out of the blue when he don't feel like he knows you enough, you know? So, yeah, you got to do it like that. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, so with that said, I'm going to just leave it right here for now until the next video, okay? Peace.